around the world is an air show pilot, a Red Bull Air Race Challenger class contender, a U.S. Advanced Aerobatic Championship, and a Louisiana Tech Aviation graduate. The list goes on and on. His aerial performances are a visual spectacle unlike any other, and he pushes the limits of this aircraft and his mind and body to make every performance exactly one of the fantastic performances. Like he's flying inside a washing machine there, he takes the airplane around and around the airspace. He is flying the extra 330 XL Red Bull race plane. The extra 330 XL is a two-seat only model C in the Challenger Cup. The airplane is probably made of and a steerable lightweight weight tail wheel, and it uses a steel fuselage for added strength and durability. All in all, the Extra 330 Extra Light, or X, well, X, is a lightweight and robust airframe, and it's ideal for the pilot's fly in the Red Bull Air Races. Let's keep an eye on this young man as he performs a spectacular aerobatic sequence here today, pushing both the airplane and his body to the extreme. Roll. That is the amazing roll rate of the airplane. He can roll it about the speed of a 78 RPM record. And he goes on a four point roll on the up side, holds the airplane against the blue, beautiful blue sky we've got today, pulls the stick back to his belly button, bumps out the top, and here he comes back down the line. Let's get the airplane flying. He's got the foot systems on, and now he gives us a step roll. I don't, I don't speak that, but uh, let's see what he does as he takes the airplane. Look at there, I'm, I'm, I'm inside loop less than two leaps of the airplane. Now he reaches the left hand side of the aerobatic airspace, he's going to push it over and outside. Six diggity G's trying to pop him out of his seat, he goes across the top, and then another series of step rolls across the sky here at Seymour Johnson. This young man has developed himself into a spectacular pup at the Wells Fargo Bank. He's going to change that energy, which is like money in the bank, into airspeed as he puts the nose down and the airplane starts to accelerate. Those little squiggles in the smoke plots, uh, try to see it. And here he goes, up high, up into the vertical, climbing, 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 up. He's going to fly around on the top of our airspace as he starts a series of aileron rolls. The airspeed bleeds off, and there he is, hanging the airplane almost motionless in this beautiful blue Carolina sky. All right, there he comes down, and brilliant flat spin. He's got the airplane upside down. The airplane is not flying. There you go again, another maximum deflection aileron rolls, and right there, the airplane stopped again, it stalled, and fallen out upside down. You have a pilot come on and the flight crew say, sure the right tables and seat backs are there, full of price position, and the your seat bump and cinch tight. Well, you better hope that you've got no have Kevin Goldman in the cockpit, and they're going to go in for a wild ride. Time for those bananas again, Roy. Get the airspeed back up, you can hear this. the airplane start accelerating. Sounds like an old Spencer Tracy movie that you see about my close Right down at Gopher, scaring altitude. He goes into a, another vertical maneuver. Again, maximum aileron deflection. And there he goes into a shoulder spin while going up. 
And now holds the airplane right in position and down he comes one more time. Everything that goes up must come down, but it, this young man can flat fly this airplane. If he goes in the vertical, you can seal the sun with your hand and keep your eye on him if he goes in for one, two, three, snap rolls at the top of the loop. You do one, it's called an avalanche. You do three, you do three. Well, heck, I don't know what you call it. They're supposed to, you don't want to be in there with him right there about that time. Over on the left-hand side of the airspace once again, into the vertical. Sweeping back around, remaining inside the box, and there he goes, tumbling the airplane again. And you can hear that propeller saying, I really don't like that. But oh. Kevin, just keep it going. One more tie right there. Down here for the people on the right hand side. He does those snap rolls. You can hear the propeller. Lights the air. And here he is pitching out over on the Y axis and setting himself up over about a thousand feet for the line. And give us the Harrier pass where he actually takes the airplane and suspends it on that propeller. His limiting factor is the cylinder head temperature. It's so no air cooling air flowing through the cowling. forward on a stick and comes down on a 45 degree down line. Jackie was talking about the heat in the cockpit. And of course, Kevin subjected himself to the same thing. That bubble canopy is kind of like a, being in a broiler. There he comes again. Look at those snap rolls as he goes out there. That's 7 to 8 G's each time. And Kevin, he's flying the airplane down the runway a little bit so he can get to the performer pit area, which is located about a half mile down to our right. Goes into the vertical for a nice edge spin as he reaches the top. The airplane continuing to climb higher and higher again. That blue sky cover the sun is clean. We have to leave two. All right. And he comes out into a Maytag Mixmaster on the way down to Alley Shed. Once again, put the ball on the stick, and there he goes into a Maytag Strip on the way up to the top side of the Speed here at just a moment. All right. How about we just tumble the airplane one more time? Make sure everybody's paying attention. Well, oh, the airplane engine is protesting as he does the dinks. It's a sequence of one rotation bubble with level to level flight. Over on the right hand side of the airspace, how about a real quick inside loop? He brings the airplane right back to Air Show Center. He's taking a lot of energy out of the energy bank right now, going from money in the bank to cash in his pocket as he brings the airplane right down again and into his next maneuver. Oh, good gosh, more outside staff rolls slowing the airplane. Uh oh. Listen to how the airplane goes down the left-hand side of the airspace. Tiffany declines, both systems off. No control over the air of the ailerons. Nothing's out there. They're what's spinning the airplane now is the torque of the engine. As he backs down almost six plane lengths, probably getting up to about 80 miles an hour, going in reverse as he comes back in for the chameleon roll, which is a very slow roll, followed by multiple colors of the airplane. Watch the airplane paint so much as he goes by. On the right hand side of the airspace, this is the necktie.
let's see if the winds or not. Come push it back through, the tie back through and tie it off and come back in. Hopefully he doesn't let quite as low as our current president. Once again, watch that airplane change colors. It's an amazing paint job. As he goes into the avalanche with the loop and the snap at the top, right about here. Wham, one, two, three, four. Four snap rolls, a quadruple avalanche maneuver. Now using a maneuver developed in World War I by Max Elwin. That's going to be the Elwin turnaround if he gets to the right or the left hand side of the flight line. That's half of the loop. Roll the airplane right side up and get set for his next one. This is the whoopee tumble as he once again takes the airplane, tumbling it in over in. The pointy end would normally go forward, but uh, Bill likes to fly the airplane a little uniquely. SOTU, let's see what he's got here as he goes from the inverted push to a nearly vertical climb and it slows down to less than 80 miles an hour, 80 knots, right there holding the airplane very still. Now it comes back down, this is going to be his carrier pass. He's literally going to park the 540 at altitude. Over upside down. Hope he doesn't drop his car key. Push. That is painful. These pilots are wearing two sets of seat belts. A five-point harness very similar to what a NASCAR driver does, and over the top of that, another set of seat belts attached to a different point in the airplane. That's simply for the safety because when you pull out about six T's negative, you don't want to pop out of that cockpit. And there he is, slowing the airplane down to almost zero airspeed. The Harrier maneuver pitting him against the sky. Give an extra snap roll on the way down just to make sure we're paying attention. Bill would like to thank your sponsors, including Softy Parachute.
Chris teammates on the end zones and they head back for the Indo Tunnel. Tunnel. Crossing over and each one turning the airplane is tumbling and it ends over again. Oh, why they call it the Indo? worldwide you depend on those tankers absolutely uh, not just to get there but when they're flying missions overseas they fly some pretty long missions and they're carrying a lot of ordnance so typical mission they're refueling it requires aerial refueling and the development of the air 